That's always a tricky thing, you know. I like being the producer because I get to shape the project more, you know. You get to choose who's going to be in it and who's going to direct it. And I and my favorite thing is working with the script. But um, but once you get shooting, you know, you always have to remember to focus on your character. I find when you've worked on it, you have a deeper understanding of who your character is, what each scene is trying to say. But still, at the same time, you can get bogged down with logistics and tricky things. And sometimes you're like, guys, I, I need to... I need to remember where I'm at right now, so it can be tricky, but I love it. I, I love being able to do both. Yeah, unfortunately, when you play a pilot, you can't... Well, maybe you could just turn up and switch a couple of buttons, but um, I spent... I went up flying a bunch of times and then spent many hours in a simulator really kind of going over all the different things we have to do in the movie, but I also wanted to understand what everything does and, and really start to feel comfortable. Like, I wasn't just pretending to sit in that seat. Like, I actually felt like... I'd spent a long time there. And once we got to the cockpit that we filmed in, which was on a gimbal, and we, I mean, I spent probably three weeks sitting in that thing. So by the end of it, I really kind of, yeah, I think if anybody's looking, any of you airlines are looking for uh, an airline pilot, I, I'm pretty sure I could be flying commercial airliners um, adequately. I loved filming in Puerto Rico. It's a beautiful country. The people there are incredible. They've been through a lot. They have great spirit. And it really doubled beautifully for the Philippines, you know, the, the jungles that they have there, just the terrain generally, the weather. I mean, we, sh we shot in the middle of summer, and it was so intensely hot and, and humid that that itself was like a personality, a character in the movie, you know, and it just added to what... It's a survival movie, you know, so it really added to that element of what we were all having to go through, what we were all having to fight through. So, um, yeah, beautiful place. I would go there again in a heartbeat. But Mike Coulter especially, one, he's a phenomenal human being um, and he's a terrific actor. And, it, and immediately that we, we met, I knew it was going to be an easy process and very collaborative. He's an um, easy guy to get along with and I love what he brought to that role because really that's what makes this movie is a relationship between this captain and this accused murderer who he now has to enlist his help and trust and he really does it. He, we just don't know where this is going to go. But he brought so many colors, you know, there's just something so interesting and fascinating about who he is. And it, he's, he's not the person that I thought he was going to see, let's just say that. So I loved our relationship. Um, Danielle, uh, Daniela Pineda, who's phenomenal, she plays the, you know, one of the um, air stewardesses. And, um, and she's just, you know, tough as nails, but so much heart. I mean, and we had Tony Goldwyn. We really had, uh, and, and my co-pilot, Yosonan, who was just uh, from Mulan, terrific actor, um, just played it so sincerely, so much humanity. Your heart bled for him. Um, yeah. But I think what audiences love about uh, playing is it's exciting, propulsive entertainment. It really doesn't finish from the start to the end, and I think it crosses many different genres, but yet it's people that you can relate to. It's people that are flesh and blood, they make mistakes, but they're trying their best in these insane situations, you know, you're in there. Like every, uh, I'm hearing things like people watching, even, uh, you know, screeners at home, and they say, I literally went down because I thought I was wearing my, my you know, my, my, my seatbelt, you know, or I, I, I scraped all my, my nail varnish off I mean people are really kind of feeling it I think so that's always good to hear